Brandon Swanson was on his way home from celebrating with a friend about their last day of school. He accidentally drove his car into a ditch and called his parents on his cell phone around 12.30 a.m. He asked his parents for help, however, they were unable to find him. So Brandon said he was going to walk to the nearby town of Lind, Minnesota, where he could see lights. He stayed on the phone with his father while walking. Shortly after 2 a.m., Brandon says, oh shit, and the call abruptly ended. Brandon's dad tried to call him back several times, but Brandon never answered the phone. Brandon has never been seen or heard from since. His father spent the rest of the night looking for Brandon and then called the police at 6.30 a.m. The next day, authorities used cell phone records to locate Brandon's car one and a half miles north of the Lyon-Lincoln County line off of Highway 68 west of Taunton, Minnesota. There was no sign of Brandon at the scene. An extensive search of the area turned up no sign of Brandon and the car wasn't anywhere near where Brandon said he was. It was about 20 miles away from there. There were some accounts that Brandon had been drinking alcohol that evening, but investigators don't believe he was intoxicated or otherwise impaired when he disappeared. Some people theorize that Brandon ran into the Yellow Medicine River while he was walking in the dark and drowned. The river is about 15 feet deep in some places and was running high and fast at the time. However, searches of the river did not produce his body and there's no evidence to support this theory. Brandon disappeared on May 14th, 2008 when he was just 19 years old. This is an age progressed photo of what he might look like today. Brandon's law was passed later in 2008. The law requires Minnesota police to begin an immediate search for missing adults under the age of 21, as well as older adults who are missing under suspicious circumstances. When Brandon's parents had called the police to report Brandon missing, they advised them to wait because such behavior was not uncommon for young men his age. Who knows if they had started searching sooner if they would have been able to find anything leading to Brandon. Foul play has not been ruled out. However, there is no evidence pointing to foul play. Brandon has simply just disappeared. His case remains unsolved.